What's going on everybody? This is Josh. I'm the founder and master electrician here at Empowered Electric and welcome to Empower ED, where we want to take a close up look at all things skill trade related. Predominantly what, Brett? Electrical, baby. Why? Because we're electricians, all right? And I love that everyone from DIYers to apprentices to journeymen are watching these videos, commenting below. So thank you. Be sure to hit us with that like, hit that subscribe, hit that little button. I don't know what that button does. I think it tells you when we post new videos. Thank you so much for subscribing. We're over 800 and something subscribers. We hope that this is making you more money, more efficient, all that kind of stuff. One of the things that we talk a lot about is conduit. Now, you know what I'm gonna talk about, man. I'm gonna talk about a three-point saddle. It's one of the things that like people love to be able to do. They're like, oh man, I did this saddle over this thing and blah, blah, blah. Listen, I love running conduit. I've ran thousands upon thousands of feet of conduit. And what I wanna say to everyone is usually there's a better path. There's a 90 and a kick, there's an offset, there's a change in elevation. Don't let your mind go so quickly to a four point or a three point saddle. They're not fun to pull through and they add up on bends really, really quick. But there are some instances in where you have to do it. We've talked about a four point saddle is to get over a square or a rectangular obstruction. A three point saddle is to get over what, Aaron? a round obstruction, so a pipe, a plumbing pipe, a flue, a sprinkler line, something like that that's kind of a rounded uh, thing. So just like a four-point saddle, step one we wanna figure out is our center line. So if we were going to look at this obstruction, which is a great obstruction, some cans of hop water, I don't know why we'd be running around those rather than drinking them, but in this instance, that's what we're gonna do. We would find our center line of that. Doesn't really matter because we don't have a starting and end point, but we're gonna make a center line here on this conduit. This conduit is 76 inches, so that is what? 35 is 70, 38. 38 inches is the uh, center line of this conduit. So, center line of the conduit, center line of the obstruction. You wanna make sure that you start there. Some people in the comments below are gonna be like, well, if I have a starting point, I can find the shrink and this, that, and the other. Listen, you wanna talk about shrink, go jump in a cold ice bath, okay? I don't wanna talk about shrink on this channel, not because I can't do it, because it makes things really complicated. Why do I know? Because look at how sweaty I am. Guys, we've tried to do this conduit illustration over and over again. Three-point saddles is like explaining to people how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Once you get it, you get it. Explaining it is really kind of hard. So bear with me. The center line, you get that mark, okay? The second thing you wanna get is the height of the obstruction. Now, I've already looked at this and it's two inches. So we have to make our top of our bend go two inches up. Now, what you wanna remember is that for every inch that you need to go up, you need to multiply by two and a half. Okay, that's the magic number for your starting line, two and a half. So two and a half from our starting mark, uh, two and a half times two is five. So we find our center line, we go five inches this way, we go five inches the other way. Okay, now, Depending on which direction you were gonna go, you would start with the mouth and the center line um, going the same direction. So I'm gonna take my center line. Center line is your first bend, okay? Slide it into the, the mouth of the conduit. Remember, we, we know that this is the mouth of the conduit where you feed the pipe in. This is the shoe. And you're gonna bend to a 45 degree bend, okay? So you come down here, past your 30, down to your 45. Now, you pop it in. Slide it to your next mark. Next mark, you rotate, line it up with the arrow, you rotate it. Why do we rotate it? Do you remember from a 45 or a 30 degree offset? If you don't rotate it and make the conduit straight in line with your next bend, it dog legs. And if you're wondering why, what dog leg means, you ever seen a dog pee in a hydrant? Their legs kind of pop out like this. That's what happens with the conduit. It kind of pops out to the side. That's why, that's why it's called that, Aaron. So when you bend the 45, what's half of 45? 22 and a half. Oh, it just so happens. Look at this little mark right here. 22. When the hell would you ever bend a 22 degree offset? You wouldn't. It's specifically here for a three point saddle. So you bend it there the opposite direction. Now, here is where most people go wrong. They will look for their other bend and they will bend like this. That is a no, no. Okay. You want to, you have to flip the conduit around. 
Your mouth is always facing the center line, people, okay? Slider in there. Go to the mark. Keep pressure. Look down the pipe. Ooh, she's so straight. Um, it's lined up. Go to what? What's half of 45? 22, baby. You go down and you bend that now. <sighs> Looks like <shit. laughs> I'm gonna have to bend another one, dude. I don't know what the heck went wrong there. Good golly. Uh-uh, that ain't it. Let me think. Let me think about this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you might notice this piece of conduit is a little shorter and it's not bent. What happened? Josh made a mistake, made a mistake that's very, very common. Like I said, three-point saddles are not the, my favorite thing to do. So what did I do wrong? Well, my first bend, when I put the conduit into the mouth, I lined up the arrow with my first mark. Mistake. You're supposed to line it up with this notch right here, the star, the back of the 90, whatever you want to call it. So your first bend on 45 degrees to the center line is on this mark, this mark, this notch, not the arrow. So I'm going to go through here, bend the 45, slide it in, rotate it so it doesn't dog leg, bend the 22 and a half. I'm going to flip the conduit the other direction, go into my mark at the arrow, Make sure it's lined up so it doesn't dog leg. Bend 22, infinitely better, infinitely better than last time. Look at that, way better there. But do you see that, Brett? Way closer, way better. There is a straight run it has a three point sloping saddle over the round obstruction and goes to the other side. The way that I did that is I found the center line and the total distance of the obstruction I had to, to, to go. I made the center line mark. I took the obstruction height times two and a half to make my first to make my mark on the outside. I put the conduit in, I lined up the notch with the center line, bent 45 degrees, slid it in, twisted it to not dogleg it, did the 22 degree bend, flipped the conduit around, made my second 22 degree to bend, and there you got a three point saddle. So guys, the only way that you're gonna get good at running conduit is the same way you're gonna get good at saddles, by running a lot of conduit, by doing saddles when necessary. If you can do something else, do something else. But if you hit that rectangular obstruction, do a four point. If you hit a round obstruction, do a three point saddle. It's gonna take a lot of time, you might try to, it might, honestly, it might frustrate you where you wanna grab a beer. Never drink beer on a job site. You can drink hop water though. Hop water is all benefits, no booze. It is sparkling water with adaptogens and nootropics. Safe for any job site, OSHA approved. And I promise it might actually give you the mental capacity to remember what's the multiplier for the obstruction, Aaron? 2.5, he's drank hop waters, a lot of them, before we started recording this. So hey guys, Hope you appreciate this, this, uh, this Empower Ed three-point saddles. Be sure to subscribe, like, share, comment below. Might even, uh, uh, do we leave that blooper in? Sometimes in life, you don't succeed at first, but what do you do? Try, try again. And if you haven't succeeded then, then you quit, okay? Then you become, never mind, no, jokes. Have a great week, bye.